My name is Wade Osterkamp. I'm a longtime research hydrologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. I'm the vice president for science with the Research Ranch Foundation, which has a research ranch within the snow of the plain near Elgin, Arizona. My concern is that the geology of the Santa Rita Mountains and underneath the Sonoma Plain is in some respect dominated by the carbonate rocks. This is a very general representation of the, the geology and the topography of the Santa Rita Mountains and the area to the east that is the Sonoma Plain. The two major rock types that are of concern here are sandstone and volcanic rocks that are largely at or near the surface and underlying those rocks are the limestones and dolomites, the carbonate rocks that are the main transmitters of water in this sort of area. But the point that is most important is that the open pit mine will go through the carbonate rocks to a level that is considerably lower than what the level is of those rocks underlying the Sonora Plain. And the potential, therefore, is that there can be drainage into the open pit that will dewater partially or even completely the carbonate rocks and dry up wells, dry up springs, eliminate the water resource of the entire area. So these are all concerns. It's not just humans and their wells, but it is the entire ecosystem of the Sonora Plain that might be at risk if indeed there is significant dewatering because of inflow into an open pit mine. Once the pit is begun, once excavation has begun, there is a point of no return. We have the, the obligation to understand what the system is before that occurs. If we wait until the pit has already started before we begin to understand how the system operates, it's too late. The problem might assert itself and there will be a continuous difficulty as far as the groundwater resource of the Stony Plain is concerned. This is a threat that we as human beings cannot really afford to take. We have to be sure of what we're doing before we allow something like this to begin.